Hi there, Wayne Jennings here. Today we have another canoe repair video to share with you. And as in the past, we've teamed up with our friends at Novacraft Canoe to produce this video. Now, if you're not familiar with Novacraft Canoe, they make a full line of canoes that are manufactured in Canada. Uh, they also have a retail store where they sell canoe accessories and uh, repair products. Uh, what I've done is I've uh, included a link in the description below. So please feel free to check them out. Uh, meanwhile, let's get to today's repair video where you're going to look at composite canoe repair, which is basically the technique you would use to repair a crack or a dent on the inside of your boat. So let's check out the video and see how it's done. Hi, I'm Tim from Novacraft Canoe, and today we're going to show you how to do a repair on your composite canoe. First off, you have to get a composite canoe repair kit. Uh, you have to specify whether your canoe is made of fiberglass, Kevlar or Aramid, or tough stuff. And then you get the necessary materials to match your particular type of canoe. First thing in the kit is the resin. Um, then to go with the resin, there's the clear hardener small tube of it. Uh, there's a mixing bucket along with a mixing stick. You're going to pour some of the resin in there, add the catalyst and mix it up. We have a piece of uh, sandpaper. You want to sand the interior of your canoe where the crack is to sand it smooth so you get a nice smooth repair when you're all done. Then there's a piece of fiberglass mat which is going to go over the repair first. Then a piece of uh, material to match your particular type of canoe. This is a piece of aramid here. Then a piece of um, peel ply, which goes over at the end. And uh, that helps you get a really nice smooth repair with smooth edges. So there's very minimal uh, sanding at the end to get a nice repair. There's also a pair of latex gloves in the kit. This is a really good idea to use these. Keep the resin and the hardener off your hands. Uh, it will irritate your skin, um, especially the hardener. If you get raw hardener on your skin, it's not good. There's an instruction sheet. Really good idea to read through this one or two times. Make sure you're going to do it right and do it the easiest way possible. And that's about it for the kit. And then we'll head on out to the shop and Jeff's going to show us how to do a professional repair on your composite canoe. Okay, here we are out in the shop and Jeff's going to show us how to do a repair on an Aramid light canoe. It's got a crack in the side of it. First off, he's going to sand the area that needs to be repaired. Gets rid of any rough spots, any sharp edges. And by roughing up the whole area where the repair is going to go, you get a good bond with the resin. Mix up the resin. The uh, Correct ratio is 1%, so you're not going to need, it, need a lot of hardener. Here he's using six or seven drops of hardener for the amount of resin he's using. Takes the brush and uh, wets out the area where the patch is going to go. You can use a fair amount of resin here because it's going to be soaked up by the next layers. Then goes on the fiberglass mat. This gets wet out. This is going to take a fair amount of resin. Patch should look clear so you can see through uniformly through the whole area. Bubbles are going to show up as white areas, so you want to get those out with the brush. Next up, the material your canoe is made out of, in this case, Aramid. This layer gets wet out. It's not going to take as much resin as the fiberglass did. Again, getting all the bubbles out that you can. Keep the patch nice and smooth. And last, the peel ply goes on. And then we wet that out. Again, that's not going to take as much resin as the earlier layers because it soaks up some of the resin that you already have on there. You want to leave the edge dry, as Jeff's doing here, which helps to make it easier to peel off later on when it's all hardened up. Then we uh, let that harden up for three or four hours and then Jeff's coming back and peel, peeling the peel ply off. 
kind of pull it off against itself so you don't rip up any areas if they're not quite hardened yet. Nice smooth edge, good to go. And here Jeff is using a gel coat for a interior from an interior gel coat repair kit, which you would have to order separate if you want to uh, finish your canoe off to match the original color. He kind of dabs that with the brush to give it the original finish of the canoe. When that's all done, leave that to harden up for three or four hours till it's not sticky anymore and then you're good to go. After it's all done, you can repair the outside of the crack with a gel coat repair kit. Have more fun with your canoe. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that video useful. And if you're looking to do some other repairs on your canoes, you may be interested in this video. If you click on the box above, that'll take you to a video showing you how to do a gel coat repair. Uh, if you click on the lower box, that will show you a video on how to install skid plates on your canoe. Thanks again. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't already, click the little logo over my shoulder and please subscribe. Thanks again.